Hello everybody, this is the Gaming Scott, and I have a super duper gameplay of Extinction, and it's going to be in three parts. <clears throat> One part is going to be today, I'll, I'll just do a part each day for the next three days. Uh, but before I get to that, it is January 25th, so happy January 25th for those of you who don't know. Uh, 11 months from now, today is Christmas. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, this first part of Extinction Commentary is going to be just like the Monday commentary that I forgot about this previous Monday. And this is going to be like the Monday commentary for this past Monday and the Monday commentary for like two days from now. <clears throat> you'll still get a video Monday. And it'll still be a commentary, but just not like a commentary about stuff in real life happenings it's just going to be about my like strategy for extinction and solo and probably just a lot of blabbing on and on about nothing in particular <coughs> but for this part anyway i'm going to talk about my first week of classes in my spring semester and i guess it works out because i really couldn't have done that monday since i had didn't i hadn't had any of my classes yet so that's cool uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, classes started Tuesday because the dorms and pretty much the whole campus didn't open back up until noon on Sunday, so they gave us two days to get moved back in and settled in and everything, so, yeah, we just, Mon Sunday and Monday were just kind of a chill day, get relaxed and stuff. I played Resident Evil for the first time ever. Um, Monday too, which is exciting. And so yeah, that was cool. Um, I played Raccoon City. It wasn't one of the numbered ones. It was Raccoon City, but it was really fun. Um, I I don't know what class I played as or whatever it was. It's I don't know, but it was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah. Before I talk about my classes in particular, I'm gonna go over my schedule. Um. I know I probably said it during the Call of Duty Ghost Sessions whenever I rented it from Redbox at one time in like my 15 videos, um, but just to go over it again, um, I got <coughs> Tuesday, Tuesday I had Ethics and Calc from, Ethics was 9.30 to 10.45 and Calc is uh, 11 to 11.50, I got Monday, Wednesday, Friday is... Um, English 102, which is a research class, then Calc, then English 115, which is Intro to Lit, then Intro to Psych. And Thursday, I just had Honors Ethics, which is awesome, 9.30 to 10.45, one class, and I'm done for the day. So, Tuesday. Um, you go to Honors, essay, honors Ethics. And we really didn't do much. We just talked about the syllabus, the class let out early, and it was super fun. But I had like 40 minutes to kill then before I went to my Kelp class, usually. If it let out on time, I would have only had 15 minutes in between, and like 5 or 10 of those minutes would have been just walking to the class itself. So, yeah. Um, so I had like half an hour to kill, which is kind of sad, but... The math class that I'm in is in a new building. Not new, but it's a renovated building that I've never been in before. And it's really nice and it's awesome. Um, <clears throat> but ethics is going to be a lot of writing. Because all we do in ethics, on the syllabus it has all the points and stuff we get. And there's only two tests and the final is one of those tests. And both tests are 44 points. And there's over 500 points in the class. So less than 20% of the class score is made up of test so there's a lot of writing there's a there's a term paper we have to write uh, I'm not sure how long that has to be I'm probably gonna see if I can do it on like schools policies about teachers having social networks and how that compares to like a how a high school policy compares to a university's policy Right here, this is the first time ever my HD PVR cut out, so I apologize for that. Um, it goes back real quick, so just don't mind that. The video didn't freeze or anything, it's just there. Um, yeah, see, it'll come back here. Yep, okay. Um, 
<clears throat> but there's a bunch of stuff we have to do, like current events and whatnot, and there's a bunch of assignments that are like three to five pages each, so that really kind of sucks. Um, I mean, it's double space, so really it's only one and a half pages, but still, that's like, oh. And I have two English classes, so I'm probably going to do a bunch of writing in there. One of them is a research class, so that's definitely, I'm going to have a research paper in there. Um, so yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of writing this semester, a lot of time spent in the library typing, because, yeah. I'll get too distracted if I try to type on my laptop in my room. Um, after that, though, I went to Calc. We just talked about the syllabus, and we dove right into limits, because math is awesome like that. We just, like, dive right in on the first day and everything. You know, yeah, we mentioned the syllabus, we talked about that, but we just we just breeze through that and get right into the material, because that's the best part, okay? We don't need to waste a day or two of classes talking about the syllabus and what we're going to do this semester. We just get right into what we're going to do this semester, and that's awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, after that, I was done for the day, and it was great. <coughs> Now there, there was Wednesday, which is my first busy day, four 50-minute classes right in a row from 10 to 2. So I start off with Eng English 102, which is research, and we just talked about the syllabus. She likes, the professor for that class really likes fairies. We have to read a book about fairies and stuff, and it's, oh, it's stupid. But I'll get more into that when I talk about Friday's class. Uh, but... For Wednesday, all we did was talk about the syllabus, really. Calc, we did more into limits. We talked about the difference quotient, like solving limits with the difference quotient and all that stuff. Um, so that was fun. I, I've, I took Calc in high school, my senior year, so hopefully a lot of this class will just be a refresher. So it won't, hopefully it won't be too difficult, which is awesome. Uh, but I love Calc. It's great. Like my professor even says... Um, also, math professors at Edinburgh are super awesome. Like, they're hilarious. I can already tell. Um, but yeah, my professor this semester is going to be awesome. I've heard, like, everybody loves him, just his tests are hard. That's what I've heard. Um, he's a great professor, he teaches really well, but he has hard tests. So, I'd say it's worth it. He seems like an awesome guy. <coughs> um, so yeah, what was I going on? I don't know what I was saying. Something. Something, something, something. What was I saying? Um, difference quotient. Yeah, I took calc in high school, so it hopefully won't be that hard. Yeah. Thumbs up, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I lost my train of thought, but what else? We're going on to English 115, Intro to Literature. <clears throat> All we did was talk about the syllabus again, and we didn't really do much. Um, it was stupid stuff. Um, then intro to psych. Um, once again, all we did, that was my first intro to psych class on Wednesday. Um, all we did was talk about the syllabus, and we took like half a slide of notes. So that was exciting. Then we did Thursday with all we had was ethics. I don't know why I keep saying we, it's me. It's just, there's... I'm sorry, it's... Yeah. I went to ethics, and... Um, all we did was really just take notes, talk about current events and stuff happening in the world. I think the first chapter we're talking about is privacy. Oh, no, we talked about just, like... Yeah, we talked about technology, actually. Like, how it's evolved throughout the years and stuff, like... The Apollo 11 something, something, I don't know. Just, we compared, like, technology 30, 40 years ago to technology today. We compared, like, one of the first computers to a uh, MacBook. And, like, the first computer had, like, it was humongous. It took up so much space, and it had, like, freaking, what, like, 12 kilobytes or something. And now a MacBook is, like, small and portable, and it has, like... Friggin' has so many gigabytes, and it's just, yeah. It's awesome stuff. We talked about technology and the evolution of it, and it was cool. Uh, but yeah, Thursday, one class, when I was done, I was like, what up? 
And then Friday. <laughs> I got some stories for Friday. I gotta poop, so I really need this next five minutes to go quick so I can poop. Um, this is now my fourth time recording this commentary, because I was recording it earlier, and, like, the program that I'm recording this narration with, like, crashed, or just stopped responding, and it lost all the narration, so I had to re-record it, I started recording it again, and someone knocked on my door, and I just had to go, and so this is, this is, um, yeah, this is, I've recorded this commentary quite a bit, um, but Friday is a good day, <laughs> I got a busy day attended to again, um, but, let's see, Intro to Litter, no, not Intro to Litter, English 102 was my first class, 10 o'clock. Um, all we did was really, we split up into groups, and really, I don't know how we do group work in English, but apparently our professor found a way to make it work. Um, we split up into groups, we had to read a chapter of the fairy book, the book about fairies, and... So, the first chapter was about 24 pages, and we split into groups of four, so each of us had six pages, and within those six pages, we have to write a question, like a who question, a what question, a when question, a why question, a how question, a, and then some of the more obscure questions, like to what extent, and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, the total was seven questions, that's our homework for this weekend that I'll have to do probably tomorrow. Um, so, yeah. We split into groups of that, and we have to write seven questions within our section of the chapter that we were assigned. And it was decided within our group. She didn't pick our groups. That's one good thing about uh, college, is you have a lot more freedom, obviously outside of class, but inside of class also, they're not going to like assign groups or anything. I mean, some professors do, because they're like, oh, I want you to meet new people. <laughs> but... In English classes especially, you can like pick what your research topic is about, you can pick your groups in a lot of classes, unless like I said you have one of those professors who are like, you should meet new people, lol. <laughs> but group work is just stupid in the first place. I mean, it's college, just come on. Please. Um Yeah, so we did that in that class. Um Calc Yeah, I lost my hypno knife here. If any of you are paying attention to the actual gameplay, I lost my hypno knife and I'm look down here looking for it. That's why I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I'm not like confused. I was looking for my knife because I was sad that I lost it. I miss a freaking scorpion. Um, then I went to Calc. We just did more limits, difference quotients. We did one sided limits. We got into that a little bit. Solved limits by algebra. Awesome stuff. You know, what is there greater than math, really? Um, then. Oh, intro to literature. Here we go. Story time. Um, so it starts at 12 o'clock, right? Then our professor comes in at 12.10 and is basically crying for the next 10 minutes until 12.20. Because apparently the she put her books and stuff in the bookstore, like what we need to buy and everything. And the dean himself went in the bookstore and took her books off the shelf and told her that she needs to put all her course materials, like her syllabus and everything, on D2L, which is like a... Just somewhere for the teachers to use to put the grades and, like, discussions and whatnot. And files that students can download to look at. And, yeah, he told her that she's not allowed to have the books in the bookstore until she puts everything on D2L. Then, even, even then, he'll make the decision of whether or not he'll put her stuff back in the bookstore. So even if she does put it on D2L, uh, she might not get her stuff in the bookstore. And so she was basically crying for the first 10 minutes, minutes, which is pretty douchey anyway. I mean, we need our books. Well, we're just going to leave her, like, to do nothing with her class. We, we need to have the books. So, I mean, yeah, that happened. And it was weird. Um, I'm running out of time, so psych was amazing we just took notes the whole class um but at the end on um, wednesday he told us that he'll let us out on time as long as we wait till the time that we're supposed to be out which is 12:50, to pack up all our stuff so until he's done um actually i'm gonna run out of time so i'll save the story for um f next video i'll mention it um 
but it's an awesome story. I, I'm really glad that that's my last class, <laughs> because if it wasn't, I wouldn't find it as funny as it, it, as it was. But since it was my last class, I found it hysterical. Um, so I'll mention it next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you tomorrow with part two. Peace out.